South Umpqua High School Athletics is brought to you by Bell's Building Supply, the South Umpqua Booster Club, D.R. Johnson Lumber Company, Soco Coffee, Attorney at Law Christopher Peterman, Swanson Group, Fry's Auto Body, Express Employment Professionals, Advanced Eye Care, and the Myrtle Creek Fire Department. You're listening to South Umpqua Athletics on Douglas County Sports Online.com. And a very pleasant good evening and welcome to South Umpqua High School basketball tonight from Elmira High School. It's a non-league battle between the South Umpqua Lancers and the Elmira Falcons. Hello everyone, I'm Brent Newton and it's endowment basketball. What that means is every school that chooses to play, they get an extra game. It doesn't count to your year totals, but... I believe most of the gate receipts go back to the OSAA Foundation, but it does give you an extra game on your schedule, and the Lancers taking them up on the offer as they travel to Elmira for this non-league game with a Falcons team that comes in at 7-6 and six on the year. Bob Fiesel's club is 9-3, and three, riding a two-game winning streak. The Lancers hosted the SkyWest crossover, the inaugural 12 team tournament and the Lancers won both of those games over Skyline Conference opponents they defeated Klamath Union on Friday night 67 to 50 and then beat Mazama 69 to 54 Eric Johnson scoring 26 points in each ball game as the Lancers 9 and 3 now Heading into this matchup with the Elmira Falcons, as I mentioned, 7-6. and six, They have played a pair of Far West League opponents in a, at a neutral site in a tournament game. Elmira defeated Sutherland 53-46 to at a tournament just after the hot Christmas break. Uh, in that game, Noah Kaye, the Bulldogs' star point guard, did not play, but Elmira did defeat Sutherland 53-46. They also played Marshfield, losing to the Pirates 63-57. Amira, Amira, a pretty physical team from what I understand, but a beatable team. And the Lancers will hopefully have a their A game here as they're trying to win a big one on the road against a very decent Elmira Falcons club. The Lancers were 7-1 and one before they suffered back-to-back losses at Cottage Grove. And then a heartbreaker at home against Sutherland. They lost by one point. Both of those games they could have won. They had a 12-point lead at Cottage Grove midway through the third quarter. Then some South Umpqua players got into foul trouble, and the Lancers ended up losing that game 79-69. to And then at home against Sutherland, that's a non, that was a non-league game. Noah Kaye scored 40 points to lead the Bulldogs to a 71-70 to victory over SU. The Lancers gave up the winning bucket to Kaye with just a couple of seconds to go in that one. And the Bulldogs hung on for that 71-70 victory over SU. As I mentioned, the Lancers have won their last two games. Wins over KU and Mazama. So they come in here feeling pretty good about themselves. 9-3. and three as they prepare for the Far West League season, which gets underway Friday night in Tri-City. The Lancers will host Douglas, a team that they've already played this season. They defeated Douglas at the Holiday Invitational in uh, mid-December. As the Lancers won that tournament title, they beat the host Trojans pretty handily in that game. So they will open the Far West League schedule at home against Douglas Friday night. We'll have that broadcast for you right here on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com. The girls played earlier tonight here, and they lost to Elmira 59-35. to They fell behind big early. They were down 15-2 to after the opening quarter, and the Falcons just cruised in that one as the Elmira girls defeat South Umpqua 59-35. to We'll take a timeout. We've still got about another eight minutes as they put a lot of time in between games. I think they put 20 minutes on the clock in between games, so we've still got some pregame to go. We'll take a two-minute break and come back with more. South Umpqua Elmira coming up soon on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com. It's essential for a good point guard to shoot smart, and it's important for every mom to shop smart. 
Ray Shop Smart Stores provides you with a winning edge on grocery prices every week. Shop Smart Stores are a slam dunk when it comes to where to shop for less with good prices and all the items you need to give your home team the winning edge. Need to win the game? Go to the 7-footer. Need to save money on your weekly grocery bill? Hustle on down to your local neighborhood Shop Smart store where you'll always find the winning buys. Did you know Dutch Bros Coffee roasts all of their own coffee fresh every day? We have individual relationships with the farmers that harvest our coffee to ensure that there's no compromise in any step of the process. From the farmer to the cup, we guarantee satisfaction. It says so at the bottom of every cup. Drive through one of our convenient locations today and put our world-renowned speed, award-winning service, and unprecedented quality to the test. All of our locations are locally owned and operated to strengthen community involvement. Visit www.dutchbros.com today. Kids who play sports are healthier than those who don't. They learn discipline, teamwork, and life habits that promote achievement. Kids in sports form strong social skills, develop confidence, enjoy a high standard of mental health, and often become solid building blocks of the community. As the local teams play out this season, they'll learn about a lot more than competing in games. They'll learn life lessons that can be gained nowhere else. That's why Clint Newell Auto Group supports local youth athletics. Dell's Building Supply has been an active member of the Myrtle Creek Tri-City community for more than 50 years. Dell's is also proud to sponsor its local students and a variety of school programs, including South Umpqua High School Athletics. Owner Jeff Johnson and his staff wish all answer team success this season. Dell's Building Supply, 102 South Old Pacific Highway in Myrtle Creek. Go Lancers! Welcome back to the pregame show. Brent Newton has both teams out on the floor. The Lancers in the road black uniforms, gold numerals and lettering trimmed in white with Lancers across the chest. Elmira in their home white uniforms, purple numerals and lettering trimmed in gold. As we're getting ready for a non-league battle between the boys from Tri-City and the Elmira Falcons. Kenny Sherman is broadcasting the Sutherland game on our other channel. They're hosting North Bend in a non-league game in Sutherland. That should be a pretty good one, so you can always click back and forth and listen to both games. That game got underway around 7 o'clock, so they're probably at halftime by now. North Bend at Sutherland. Curious how that game's going to turn out. We saw North Bend play a little better. I did at the Sky West crossover tournament in uh, Tri-City on Friday and Saturday. They're good as usual. Drew Matthews, their star point guard. They've got three Laceros on the team, Cameron being the best of the three, and then Luke Lacero, more of a defender, and they've got, I believe, Brody Lacero. I think it's Brody Lacero. Maybe not. There's so many Laceros, I get confused over the years, but they have three on the team, but Levi Ryder's also on that ball club. They're a pretty good group. Uh, I think they're beatable this season, but the Lancers kind of up and down so far this year, but the good news is SU picked up that huge victory at North Valley, which I think surprised a lot of people, including myself, as Eric Johnson led them to that win, a nine-point victory over North Valley. North Bend actually played North Valley at that tournament in Tri-City on Saturday and beat the night 69 to 60 so North Bend also beat North Valley by nine points that doesn't always mean a whole lot but definitely North Bend and Marshfield will be at the top of the far west league with South Umpqua a good chance to battle with the big boys at the top of the league I think it's a little bit weaker this season uh, Douglas right now at five and seven in the non-league season Sayus Law is three and six and Brookings Harbor, who's usually pretty darn good, they're down this year. They are 3-11. and 11. They lost both of their games at that Sky West crossover uh, at South Upwa High, uh, High School this past weekend. So Douglas, Sayusla, and Brookings look to be battling for that four spot. But North Bend, South Umpqua, and Marshfield, the top three in the far west this year. Sutherland now in the uh, Sky M League. They have moved out of the far west this season. So North Bend right now at 10-0. and They're unbeaten on the year. Marshfield is 9-4. and South Umpqua, as I mentioned a couple of times, 9-3 and right now. 
but it's going to be an exciting year. The Lancers, as I mentioned, will start things off at home against Douglas on Friday, but then it gets tough in a hurry as they will travel next Tuesday to North Bend, and then on Friday they will head to Sayusla. So back-to-back road games for the Lancers after they kick uh, begin it with the or they tip it off against Douglas on Friday at home. Then on the 20th at North Bend, and then on Friday the 23rd, they will head to Florence to take on the Sayusla Vikings. So we've got one more non-league game. That's coming up in about three minutes, and we'll tip it off for you in just a few minutes. We'll take our final timeout and come back with the starters and get this one underway. Elmira SU next on Douglas County Sports Online.com. Hey, Mom, I have something you should meet. Something or someone. Something. It's my perfect food. It's your what? It's my perfect food. Not only does it taste great, it's packed with protein and calcium. It's my perfect healthy snack. Plus, it's made locally with RBST hormone-free milk, fresh from Oregon Dairy Farms. Okay, I'll bite. What's the name of your perfect food? It's my cottage cheese, from Umpqua Dairy, of course. Umpqua Dairy. Mom, daughter, and quality checked approved since 1931. You see their trucks along highway construction sites and rolling to jobs throughout the community. Knife River Materials. The name is synonymous with high-quality products and great service. And you can have that solid Knife River experience at your home or office as well. Knife River products and materials are created right here and are rigorously tested before being applied. If you're putting in a pool, sidewalk, or driveway, tell your contractor to use Knife River Materials because you deserve the best. Knife River. They've been serving Douglas County for over 50 years. Before your favorite team hits the floor, perhaps you should hit the store. Your neighborhood Ray's Food Place. Ray's is proud to sponsor this broadcast because you support us every day with your business. And just like a coach drawing up a last-second pick and roll, Ray's is always on the lookout for winning deals on the products you use most every day. Let's give a cheer for quality products. Make a fast break to your neighborhood Ray's Food Place. Because at Ray's, the lane is always open. When I hear the word bistro, I flash back to Europe and immediately smell the alluring aroma of deep, rich coffee, followed by fresh-baked pastries, the hearty soups. But you don't have to have a European flashback for a true bistro experience. Just swing into SoCo Coffee. They have the same handmade croissants, bagels, big, fat cinnamon rolls, and the breakfast sandwiches, the soups, the salads, all homemade and all backed up with organic fair trade coffees. For the European experience, eat and hang out by the fire. Or if you're in an all-American hurry, just at the drive through at Soco Coffee in Myrtle Creek on Main Next Advanced Eye Care. South Umpqua High School Athletics is brought to you by Dell's Building Supply, the South Umpqua Booster Club, D.R. Johnson Lumber Company, Soco Coffee, Attorney at Law Christopher Peterman, Swanson Group, Fry's Auto Body, Express Employment Professionals, Advanced Eye Care, and the Myrtle Creek Fire Department. You're listening to South Umpqua Athletics on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com. Brett Newton here at Elmira High School. I'll give you the starters. SU being introduced right now to this crowd here at Elmira High School. The starting group, it's the same for you. Kevin Avery, 5'5", senior, getting the start. Cody Gray, the talented sophomore, 6'2", averaging just over nine points a contest. Eric Johnson, the leading scorer at 24 points a game, 6-foot senior. Nathan Thompson, 6'1", a junior, comes in averaging at 10.5 points a contest. And older brother Alex, Alex Thompson, 6-foot senior, uh, coming off a couple of big games at the Sky West crossover. He's averaging 9 points per contest now. Had a 25-point performance on Friday night, 13 on Saturday in the win over Mazama. The head coach is Bob Fiesel. The assistant is Steve Stebbins, along with Donnie Hamilton, who's not here tonight, but Donnie is listening. Donnie, we're about ready to get this one underway. The Lancers come in at 9-3 and three on the year. For Elmira, Austin Smith, a 6'1 junior, along with Taj Wilson, 5'8. He is a senior. Griffin Meyer, 5'8, also a senior. Gary Younce, 6'2, a senior. And Peter Cessney, a 5'10 senior. The head coach is Nick Garman. Elmira comes in at 7 and 6. We are underway, and it's controlled by the Falcons, and they have the basketball to start this one. Non-link battle here, endowment basketball. 
Elmira hosting South Umpqua. Lancers in their patented man-to-man pressure. Lobbing down low for Younds. He's got some hops. He'll put it off the window too hard. It's tipped out of bounds, but saved by Elmira. And they'll get it in for a three off the back iron. No good from Griffin Meyer. And SU has it. Eric Johnson will dribble into front court. Met there by Meyer. Left side for Cody Gray right in front of the cheerleading section. And a entry pass to Avery. And he gets whistled for the traveling violation. So a turnover on SU's first possession. Wilson will penetrate on Johnson. Jump stop. Now to Younce. Gets a defender in the air. Pulls up free throw line off the front iron. And Nathan's got the rebound for SU. Thompson, Thompson. Actually, Alex... I don't think Alex is here, is he? It's Alex Kelly who got the start. I see him on the floor now. Alex Kelly got the start. Thompson's not even here now that I look at the... Bench across the way as the ball turned over again as Taj Wilson breaks away and lays it in. And my apologies as that's Alex Kelly, 6'2 junior. No Alex Thompson in the building. Kelly will penetrate, pulls up from about six feet, a little runner, no good. Rebound Nathan, left-handed shot. That's off the side of the iron and it's into the hands of hands of Younce. Younce gets it to Wilson, now to Meyer, and he'll jog into front court. Right wing for Cessny. Penetrating to the hoop is Smith. Good ball movement by the Falcons. Everyone touched it on that possession, and a whistle away from the ball. First foul of the ball game. 6.21 to go, 2 nothing. Halftime score from Sutherland. North Bend 24, the Bulldogs, or the Sutherland Bulldogs 21. Penetrating is Meyer, cut off by Avery baseline. Good defense from the 5'5 senior. Meyer gets it back, now top of the circle for Cessny, working around the perimeter to Wilson, standing right in front of Bob Fiesel, hands on his hips. Wilson lobs it down low for Younce, backs it on Thompson, fall away, air ball, rebound Cody Gray, the sophomore, outlet to Eric, into front court. Goes between the legs, penetrates down the lane, jump stop with the right hand, good. They're tied at 2, 5.40 and counting. Took the Lancers 2 minutes and 20 seconds to get on the board. Down low again for Younce. Turns on Thompson, gets a hand in his face. Back to Wilson, double teamed by Johnson and Thompson. Somebody's going to be open. He doesn't take the shot. Back to Wilson. Now Sesti for 3. That's off the back rim and Eric got the rebound. And he'll just wait until everyone clears and take it himself. Looks over to head coach Bob Fiesel who calls out the play. Avery. Near midcourt. Off the screen is Eric. Falling to the floor is the defender. So Eric will launch a three. Good. Eric Johnson from downtown as Meyer just stumbled to the ground. So Eric took one dribble and fired and drained it. And timeout. 30-second timeout for the Falcons with exactly five minutes to go here in the opening quarter. 5-2 Lancers. As I will find out for you why Alex Thompson is not in uniform. I didn't see the coaches. I did talk with Eric Johnson briefly before the game. But I didn't see Coach Fiesel or Coach Stevens. I didn't see him the entire second half of the girls game. They just popped out of the locker room after the game ended. I didn't talk to either one. So we'll hopefully get some information to you regarding Alex Thompson. Coach Hamilton, I know you're listening. If you have any word on Alex, maybe you could text it to me. Into the basketball game is Buddy Finder, a five or six four senior for Elmira. Alex Kelly getting the start tonight for SU, pulling up Cessney. That's a, or Meyer. That's an air ball and rebound into the hands of SU. Avery's got it. Oh. Put up the right hand and call out the play. Right side for Alex, right in front of the Elmira bench. Kelly not going to shoot from out there. Finder on him. Avery between the circles, working on Taj Wilson. Man-to-man pressure from Elmira. Johnson's got it between the legs. Pulls back behind the three-point arc. Will not take the shot. Gray helps out, cutting to Thompson. They find him good, and he's fouled. Nathan Thompson working without the basketball. Give Cody Gray the assist. Nathan Thompson 
to the free throw line. And the Lancers on a little 7-0 run here in this opening quarter after falling behind 2-0. So Nathan to the free throw line. Three dribbles. Eyes the hoop. Fires away. Good. Rattled home. And the Lancers on top by six. 8-2 in the front court. Far side, that's Austin Smith. Cessna, top of the circle. Work it around now for Meyer. Lobbing down low for Finder. Falling out of bounds. Oh, excuse me, that was, yeah, that's Finder. But he got it back in to Wilson. He'll dribble back out far timeline near the SU bench, and they'll set it up. Gray, Johnson, Nathan Thompson, Kelly, and Avery on the floor for Bob Feasel's team. Penetrating Meyer wild with the left hand. Hit the iron. Rebound Cody Gray. Outlet to Avery. He'll jog into front court. Wilson meets him there. Right wing for Cody Gray. Gets a screen from Thompson. Pulls up top of the circle. Foot on the three-point arc. Lobs down low for Thompson. Lost control of it. Saves it inbounds. Who's going to get it? Eric. He's got it. Gets a screen from Avery. Pulls up. 18-footer. Rolled off the iron. No good. Finder is fouled by Gray on the rebound with 3.34 to go here in the opening quarter. Lancers 8. Elmira 2. Substitutions. Drew Pender, a six-foot senior, will check in along with Mikey Langner, L-A-N-G-N-E-R, Langner, a 5'10 senior. we got 13 players on the roster. They go pretty deep, Elmira. Down low, getting position and being fouled is Finder, the 6'4 senior, and he puts the bucket in. He'll go to the line for a three-point opportunity. Nathan Thompson... Let him get position. A nice little entry pass. And he had nobody but the rim in front of him. Finder laid it in. Thompson went over his back trying to block the shot. So to the free throw line goes Finder. And it's in and out. And Nathan Thompson pulls down the rebound. 8-4. Lancers by four. Left side for Kelly. Down low for Gray. Baseline will fall away from 10. That's off the iron. And the rebound is Luke Brockman, who just checked in. 6'3", senior, sprinting towards the hoop. Laying it up. No good is Drew Pender. Boy, he got bailed out on that one. They're going to call Cody Gray for the first line. I think that's number two on Cody. That's three team fouls on the Lancers. At the line is... Petter, uh, Petter, excuse me, P-E-D-D-E-R, Petter, Drew Petter. First free throw is off the side of the iron, no good. Cody will check out of the game. Eric Kramer, 5'11", senior, checks in. Petter's second attempt. Missed a bowl. Thompson up high for the rebound. Under three to go. 8-4, Lancers. Right side, Eric Kramer. Down low, Kelly. Low block. Puts it off the window and down. Nice, strong move by Alex Kelly. Give the assist to Eric Kramer. It's 10-4. Matches the Lancers' largest lead. Entry pass for Finder. Got position again and put it in. The 6-4 senior. Tall, lanky kid. Got position on Nathan and put it over the 6-1 Nathan Thompson. Penetrating as Johnson gets cut off by Brockman. Kramer's got it back to Avery, about 25 feet from the hoop. He'll put it on the floor. Thompson, far timeline in front of the Elmira bench. Now Johnson, top of the circle. Fires down low. Ooh, that almost went off of Thompson. Brockman got a hand on it. Luckily, Nathan just pulled his hands back in time as the ball went out of bounds. So Eric Johnson will take it out baseline. 2.12 to go. Entry pass knocked away by Finder, and it'll stay with SU. 2.11 to go, opening quarter. South Umpqua 10, Elmira 6. Cody Gray in a little bit of foul trouble with two. He's sitting on the bench right now. Johnson. Got to find somebody. And there's a five-second count. Typically, that's Cody Gray who takes the basketball out of bounds for SU. So with Cody on the bench, players a little bit out of position. And they couldn't get the ball inbounds in time. Coming in will be Paxton Sisko at the next dead ball. Wilson. Hands it off for Langner. 
Back to Wilson, top of the circle, giving him the three. Not going to take it. Petters got it. Left wing, entry pass for Finder again. Put it up, missed it. And the rebound is Kramer, who gets fouled on a reach-in by Brockman. And here comes Paxton Sisko, an excellent outside shooter, the 6'2 senior. He's hit 11 three-pointers this season in 11 games. He didn't play in one of the contests, so he's averaging one a ball game. See if he can do that again tonight. Cisco, Nathan Thompson, Eric Johnson, Eric Kramer, and Kevin Avery on the floor for Bob Fiesel's team. Cisco, not going to take the three. They're giving it to him. Top of the key for Eric. He'll launch. Long three. Good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. His second from downtown. <laughs> Can't stop that. He's got eight, and the Lancers lead it by seven. 13-6. Dribble drive to the hoop. Nice, strong move. Missing it is Brockman, but on the putback. Finder is fouled by Cisco. Team foul number four on the Lancers. Two team fouls on Elmira. Griffin Meyer will check back in for Elmira. As the free throw in and out, no good. Elmira's 0 of 4 from the free throw line. Second attempt on the way for the 6 4 senior. Soft touch in and out, but the putback no good from Petter. Another rebound, Brockman. He missed it. Petter got it again, and he's going to dribble out of traffic. Penetrating Meyer underneath the hoop, just throws it up wildly. Air ball is way underneath the backboard. Just trying to draw a foul and couldn't, so Avery comes along, gets the rebound, and he gets fouled. I think Finder is going to be whistled for the personal. And here comes another substitution. That's Austin Smith back in the game. One minute and counting. Opening quarter. Lancers by seven. 13-6 SU. Avery stumbles. As she will keep possession, Johnson gets it from him between the circles. Bounce pass to Kevin right in front of the Elmira student section down to my left. Now Thompson whistles it down low for Avery. Low block. Finders on him. 6-4 against 5-5. Eric's got it to the hoop. Good! And he's fouled. Johnson ends up on his backside. But two more for the 6-foot senior. And he'll head to the free throw line with 38.2 seconds to go. 15-6, Lancers by nine. Johnson, three dribbles, eyes the hoop, shot on the way, iron, backboard and down. Johnson already in double figures with 11. 16-6, Lancers double-digit lead. Petter, left wing from about 22 feet. Into the corner for Meyer. Fakes the three. Penetrates down the lane. Dishes off in the corner. Back to Langner. Now, who's that? That is back. I think that's Younce. He's back in the game from 15. Missed it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Younce tried to chase down his miss. But it goes out of bounds. He had a foot on the sideline. So Lancers will take it out. Far corner. Inbounds to Eric. He'll take the final shot, most likely. Still in backcourt now, right into front court. Six seconds, five, double team, four. Gets away, pulls up, three on the way off the side of the rim. Thompson the putback, and no foul as Nathan ended up on the ground. But they whistle it off, and that's, uh-oh. And I think Kevin Avery might have got a technical. But we'll tell you what happens when we come back. 16-6 as we head to quarter number two. Lancers by 10. For over 25 years, Clint Newell Auto Group has worked to earn a name that means more than just another great deal. It's important to us that our name means the best in service, maintenance and repair, and customer satisfaction. We are also proud to be part of this great community by sponsoring and helping many of the events we all know and enjoy. It's our way of saying thanks to all of you who helped Clint Newell Auto Group become Douglas County's number one dealer. Clint Newell Auto Group, where our name means more. Mmm, that coffee's 
good. It's so creamy. It's this new fat-free half and half from Umqua Dairy. Fat-free half and half? How's that even possible? I don't know. Magic cows? It says on the carton, Umqua Dairy's new fat-free half and half is made from real milk and is 100% oil-free, so magic cows. Huh. Wonder what magic cows look like. Evidently fairly skinny. Well, that would explain the fat-free. Mm-hmm. Think I'll have another cup and extra half and half. Umqua Dairy's new fat-free half and half. It's made using local RBST-free magic cows. And it's not just for coffee. It's a great cream substitute in your favorite recipes. Look for it in your grocery dairy case today. 16-6, Lancers by 10. I got word that Alex Thompson, the senior post for the Lancers, at home with the flu. Eric Johnson's mama, Lisa Lemming, I think she's home with the flu too, I overheard somebody saying. So, hope you're feeling better, Lisa. And Alex, if you're listening, get well for Friday as the Lancers will start the league season as there was a technical on Avery and shooting the free throws right now is going to is uh, Griffin Meyer and he hits both I guess those are second quarter points I don't know I assumed you'd probably shoot them in the first quarter but they shot him on this end so I guess I guess that's the way you do it you got it Kevin got it technical I think he was barking at the official when Thompson got the rebound on Johnson's miss with a couple seconds to go. He put it back up and the shot was partially blocked and Nathan got bumped to the floor and no whistle, no foul was called and I think Kevin said something to the official. Coming the other way, Thompson to the hoop lays it up and in. Nathan Thompson nice strong move 18-8 Lancers but they actually let Meyer shoot the free throws to start the second quarter we'll take it, why not don't second guess the officials, Brent. 7.15 and counting. Down low. Fall away. Younce off the side of the rim. Avery tips it to Alex Kelly. The Lancers have it. Eric Johnson, Alex Kelly, Nathan Thompson, Kevin Avery, and Eric Kramer to start the second quarter. Kelly right wing. Getting the start tonight for the Alex Thompson. Down low. Johnson with the right hand. Avery the assist. Good pass from Avery. Johnson's got two more. Lancers looking good early by a dozen. 28 Lancers in the corner three from Meyer. That's off the rim. And saving it inbounds is Elmira. They'll keep possession. Langer to the hoop. Bounce pass to Younce. Goes through his legs. Bob Fiesel moves out of the way as the ball ends up on the Lancer bench. I think Bob Fiesel is going to call a timeout. And we'll keep it here. It's a 30-second timeout. 6.35 to go here. In the opening quarter, South Umpqua 20, Elmira 8. Crowd of about 40 strong coming over from the Myrtle Creek Tri-City area, cheering on their Lancers off to a good start. 20 to 8, Lancers by 12. All the seating here at Elmira is on one side. I'm in the balcony is what they call it, the upper deck. And this, in fact, the bleachers are actually pushed in. All the seating tonight is just courtside. So I'm up here all by myself. I guess there's a couple cameramen to my left. But the team's across the floor with the scores table. And then all the seating here tonight just courtside as the Lancers... Trying to get it into Alex Kelly. Gets tipped away, and I guess it went off of Alex. It wasn't his fault, though. It was a poor entry pass. So SU turns it over. No band, but the Elmira cheerleaders are here. Only four of them, though. Only four Falcon cheerleaders. Taj Wilson back in. Lobs down low for Younce. Gets it out for Petter, who penetrates and gets the foul. And that's going to be number, boy, is that seven already on the Lancers? Kramer will check out. Paxton Cisco back in. Petter at the line one and one and it hits the back iron and Nathan Thompson has the rebound for the Lancers. Coming the other way, Johnson, strong move, pulls up from about six feet and it rolled off the side of the rim, no good. It hung there for a second, but wouldn't go in and the ball goes out of bounds, but it's going to stay with SU. 5.58 to go. First half, Lancers by 12. 
Cisco will take it out just near the Elmira cheerleaders, just a couple of feet away to his left. Inbounds to just hands it to Eric. Fires a one hander to Avery. Back to Cisco. Working around the perimeter now for Kelly. Top of the key for Paxkin. He'll launch a three, and he can't. Did he get it? No. Hit the back rim. Went straight up, hit the front rim, back rim, hit the backboard, went all around and did, didn't drop. Coming the other way, Younce, he got in behind the Lancers and just lays it in. A little cherry picking there for Gary Younce. That's his first bucket. Eric down low for Avery. Nice pass to Alex. Low block, turn, and missed the little half hook. Got his own rebound. Hands it to Avery. He'll dribble out of trouble. Uh-oh, and now we got a three-second violation on SU. Things getting a little sloppy here in the early going of the second quarter, but Lancers right now in charge. 20 to 10. Lancers doubling up the Falcons. Meyer, Wilson, Cessny, Petter, and Younce, four of the five starters back into the game for Nick Garman's team. Petter, top of the key, three on the way. That's off the rim. Going up high as Younce, the putback, blew it, and it's tipped out to Avery. One on three. Now Kevin will slow it up and wait for his teammates. Kevin, bounce pass right side for Cisco, trying to make the steal. Cisco will go to the hoop as ending up on the floor was Brockman, but had a little five on four, but SU turns it over. Petter spins down low, and now somehow, well, he had it for a moment, but Johnson swiped him the other way over Wilson. Johnson lays it in. Boy, there he got down the floor in a hurry, just picked the pocket of Petter. Try to say that five times in a row. And Johnson got by Wilson and laid it in, 22-10. Wilson will try to answer with a three, in and out, no good. Cessny over Avery got the rebound, backs in on Kevin and lays it home. Peter Cessny has his first bucket, 22-12. Cisco right wing, gets it back to Kevin. Free throw line jumper, get in there, no, went halfway down and popped out. Good ball movement. Avery just couldn't get it to fall. Coming the other way, Meyer dishes off Younce from three feet. Blew it again. Tipped out of bounds. Kelly tries to save it in bounds as the ball was tipped. And he does save it in bounds. It's a jump ball call as Petter ties up Cisco. Possession arrow favors the boys from Tri City. So the Lancers will get the basketball. Nathan Thompson will get a breather. Eric Kramer back in. Blake Thompson's got two fouls as well. I believe he does. I know Cody Gray does. We probably won't see Cody anymore in this first half. Picked up those two early fouls. Kevin Avery, Paxton Sisko, Eric Kramer, Eric Johnson, and Alex Kelly on the floor. Johnson off the screen. Basketball high above his head in front of the Elmira bench. He's going to back it out now. Goes between the legs. Gets it to Cisco. Younce goes for the steal. Cisco pulls up from three. No good. Long rebound. Avery saves it in. Nice job. Gets it to Cisco. Oh, Cisco trying to fire it down low for Kramer. And that went off of Kramer, but... Eric, they're not. They're going to give you the ball. <laughs> As Cisco fired a cross-court pass, it got tipped, and it went off of Eric. The officials kept it with SU. Eric walked all the way to the defensive end. Now he's got to hustle back. Uh, Johnson inbounds. Got it from about 22. Eric Johnson just caught the inbounds pass and fires and hits his third three of the half. 25-12. Lancers by 13. Wilson, he walked with it. They don't call it. Younce back to the hoop. Gets it back out to Meyer. Back into Yount, just playing catch. A little give and go, and Meyer just kicked it out of bounds as she will take it. 3.07 to go. Steve Stebbins now up off the bench. I think he's barking at the official. Johnson now pressure. He'll lob it down low for Cody Gray on the other end who lays it in. He get, Nobody picked up Cody Gray who just checked into the game and snuck into front court and lays it in. So Cody is going to get a little more playing time here with the two fouls. Cessny on the other end for three. Line drive, and he hits it. Finally, Almira gets a three to fall. Full court pressure. Looks like a little 1-3-1. Johnson breaks it himself, gets it to Gray. Oh, he bobbled it, and he can't save it in bounds, and it's going to go over to Almira. 2.32 to go in this first half. South Umpqua 27, Almira 15. 
Cessney, Younts, Finder, Meyer, and Wilson on the floor for Elmira. Cody Gray, Kevin Avery, Eric Johnson, Paxton Sisko, and Eric Kramer for South Umpqua. Cessney, top of the circle for Finder. They'll work it around the perimeter. Meyer gets it into Younts. Kramer knocks it away. Could have been a reach in. Younts posted up again. He wants the basketball. Now Finder puts up a three and knocks it down. Buddy Finder, 6'4", senior, hits one from downtown. Pressure. Avery breaks it, gets it to Cisco, fires down low block for Gray. Back up to Paxton for three. That's no good. He's missed all three from beyond the arc. 150 in county. Coming the other way. Meyer can't get to it as Wilson just led him too far, and it goes out of bounds off the purple padding behind the hoop. Kramer will check out. Nathan Thompson will come back in. One forty-five to go, second quarter. Lancers, they've led by as many as 13. Right now it's a nine-point lead. Johnson right wing, working around the perimeter for Kevin. He'll penetrate, and he gets bumped by Wilson. That'll be team foul number five. So no shooting fouls yet. Lancers will take it out baseline. Cody Gray will do the chores for SU. Mikey Langner will check back in. The 5'10 uh, senior. Wilson will check out for Elmira. Actually, Cisco will take it out baseline. Got to get it in. Finally lobs it out front. Avery chases it down. He'll send her the basketball. Goes right wing for Cisco. Thompson, baseline for Avery. Working on Meyer. Little underhand pass to Gray. Cody saves it. Fall away. Gets it blocked by Luke Brockman. Coming the other way, Johnson steps in the passing lane. Three on four the other way. Johnson down the lane with the right hand. No good off the backboard. Just through glass. Couldn't get the foul. But SU will keep possession of the basketball. Johnson initiated the contact before the shot, but they didn't whistle the foul. Now they get it to Eric. He'll launch a long three from about 26 feet. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Cessney and the Falcons. As she's gotten a little bit cold in the last couple of minutes. 27-18. Lancers by nine. Down low position. Good position by Finder. Too hard. And Cessney knocks it out of bounds. Gray gets it into Cody. Or to Kevin Avery. Who slaps his teammate Cody on the behind as he goes by. Kevin will take it into front court. Left side for Cisco. Another three. Good. Cisco confident from beyond the arc. They're giving him the shot. He finally gets one to drop. He's one for four from downtown. Lancers back up by a dozen. 30 18. Going to the hoop. Cessney dishes off. Finder. Good. And he's fouled. Boy, I think that might be Gray. Would have been better off just to let him put to score. Oh, they're going to give it to Thompson. Let's see how many he's got. That is three on Nathan, so it didn't matter who. It was either Nathan or Cody. One was going to pick up their third, and it's going to be Nathan Thompson. 30-21 as Finder completes a three-point play. Eric goes between the legs, now goes right wing for Cisco. Thompson top of the circle. Pressured by Finder. He'll put it on the floor, and he gets fouled by Finder. Good job by Nathan. Had nobody to throw it to, so he just put the basketball on the floor. And Thompson, pretty athletic, went right by Finder, who then bumps him and picks up the foul. So it's going to be his third. So Finder's third. 14 seconds to go. Team foul number six. Lancers take it out. Baseline. Get it into Eric. Top of the key. Three on the way. Back rim. No good. Long rebound. It's going to be Elmira. Seven seconds. Into front court. Meyer to the hoop. Over Avery. No, and he... Oh, they call it on Kevin. They call a block on Avery. Looked pretty good to me, the Lancer fans. Voicing their disgust with the call down to my left. So Kevin gets whistled for the personal with 2.5 seconds. And at the line is Meyer for two, and he hits the first. Griffin Meyer, a perfect three of three. Finder checks out with those three fouls. Petter comes in for the final 2.5 seconds. Meyer's second attempt is also good. Lances get it to Eric. In backcourt, launches at the horn. Air ball, and that's the end of the first half. 
Lancers led by as many as 13. Right now a seven-point lead. South Umpqua 30 and Elmira 23. The halftime show next on Douglas County Sports Online. Dell's Building Supply has been an active member of the Myrtle Creek Tri-City community for more than 50 years. Dell's is also proud to sponsor its local students and a variety of school programs, including South Umpqua High School Athletics. Owner Jeff Johnson and his staff wish all answer team success this season. Dell's Building Supply, 102 South Old Pacific Highway in Myrtle Creek. Go Lancers! Hear what one of the Vista's customers has to say about energy efficiency. I'm John, and my wife Roberta and I bought this house about 10 years ago. This is an older home, and we decided to work with it to increase efficiency when we could. We've changed some appliances and worked with our utility company to get some rebates. I think we believe firmly that enough people in town making small choices adds up to a big collective impact. Join the effort and start saving today. Download rebate forms at everylittlebit.com. It's essential for a good point guard to shoot smart, and it's important for every mom to shop smart. Ray Shop Smart Stores provides you with a winning edge on grocery prices every week. Shop Smart Stores are a slam dunk when it comes to where to shop for less with good prices and all the items you need to give your home team the winning edge. Need to win the game? Go to the seven footer. Need to save money on your weekly grocery bill? Hustle on down to your local neighborhood Shop Smart store where you'll always find the winning buys. Did you know Dutch Bros Coffee roasts all of their own coffee fresh every day? We have individual relationships with the farmers that harvest our coffee to ensure that there's no compromise in any step of the process. From the farmer to the cup, we guarantee satisfaction. It says so at the bottom of every cup. Drive through one of our convenient locations today and put our world-renowned speed, award-winning service, and unprecedented quality to the test. All of our locations are locally owned and operated to strengthen community involvement. Visit www.dutchbros.com today. These days, the concept of value matters more than ever. And you'd be hard-pressed to find a better value than high school sports. Extracurricular activities, including sports, make up about 2% of the budget for a typical Oregon high school. In return, participation in sports promotes citizenship and sportsmanship. Sports also instill a sense of community pride and teach lifelong lessons about cooperation and self-discipline. They encourage physical fitness. They produce community leaders. By offering so many benefits to the community for such a small percentage of a school's overall budget, it's easy to see why high school sports are one of the best bargains around. The real cost would come from not having them at all. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Oregon School Activities Association and the Oregon Athletic Directors Association. South Umpqua High School Athletics is brought to you by the South Umpqua Booster Club, Leisha and Dr. Mark Phillips, Swanson Group, Pizza Palace, Soko Coffee Company, Advanced Eye Care, Express Employment Services, The Integrity Team, and D.R. Johnson Lumber Company. You're listening to South Umpqua High School Athletics on Douglas County SportsOnline.com. Welcome back to Elmira High School. Brent Newton, this non-league battle between the Lancers and the Falcons. Right now it's South Umpqua with a seven-point lead, 30-23. to It was 16-6 after the opening quarter. And Elmira outscored the Lancers 17-14 to in the second period to, take, uh, to cut that lead to seven. Lancers 30, Elmira 23. First half scoring, Cody Gray got into some early foul trouble. He's got two points tonight. Alex Kelly with two points. Eric Johnson with a game-high 18, including three from beyond the arc. Paxton Sisko has three points off the bench. And Nathan Thompson with five as a team. The Lancers have hit four from beyond the arc. And from the line, they are two of two. For the Elmira Falcons, Taj Wilson has two points. Luke Brockman has a pair. Four points for Griffin Meyer. Five from Peter Sesney. Two points from Gary Younce. And eight points from Buddy Finder as a team. They have hit two three-pointers and from the line, five of 11, 46%. So the Lancers have led by as many as 13. Things got a little bit sloppy there late, but the Lancers still hanging on to a seven-point lead 
uh, here at the break in this non-league game, this endowment game here in Elmira. Endowment game basically means if you're allowed just for to make it even, if you're allowed 20 games uh, in the in the uh, on the season in basketball, they allow you to play a, a 21st game, an extra game without counting it against your total. However, all of the gate receipts, all the money made at the gates go to the OSAA Foundation, and then I believe they send half that money back to the school. So most of the money does end up with the OSAA Foundation. So it's a nice um, mutual thing between the uh, schools and the OSAA. So everyone wins in that case. So most of the money goes back to the OSAA Foundation. But it's a good uh, something good for schools to do, and the OSAA appreciates it as well. And the Lancers and Almira taking up the OSAA on the offer, so they are playing this ball game here tonight as the Lancers prepare. In fact, both teams prepare for their league season to start on Friday. Almira, part of the Sky M League, which is also the league that Sutherland is now in. And the Lancers, of course, in the Far West League, they begin their season Friday, the Far West League season Friday night at home against the Douglas Trojans. Here in this one, it's 30-23. to 23. The Lancers have a seven-point advantage. We're going to take an extended timeout, and when we come back, we'll have the third quarter for you again. Lancers right now on top, 30-23 SU. You're listening to Lancers Basketball on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com. To recognize the achievements of every student, that's the mission of the South Umpqua High School Booster Club. Each year, the boosters bring awareness to the community about student achievements. Get involved. Visit a booster club meeting on the second Monday of the month at the district office starting at 6.30 in the evening. South Umpqua High hosts 13 sporting activities from the fall through spring sessions. Contact Lisa Lemming at 580-8405. Support your community. Support South Umpqua Booster Club. Before your favorite team hits the floor, perhaps you should hit the store. Your neighborhood Ray's Food Place. Ray's is proud to sponsor this broadcast because you support us every day with your business. And just like a coach drawing up a last-second pick and roll, Ray's is always on the lookout for winning deals on the products you use most every day. Let's give a cheer for quality products. Make a fast break to your neighborhood Ray's Food Place. Because at Ray's, the lane is always open. Push it, pull it, drag it, trade it in at the Anything on Trade Sale at Roseburg Community Cars. They'll take everything. Boats, land, TVs, guns, you name it. Just bring it to Roseburg Community Cars. Trade it in and you'll get top dollar towards a quality pre-owned vehicle. Roseburg Community Cars has new inventory coming in every day. Right now you can turn your motorcycle, stereo system, or trampoline into a new ride for the summer with their Anything on Trade Sale. Roseburg Community Cars, the place to go when others say no. Northeast Stevens across from the Salvation Army. She got her daddy's buggy and he said to go straight to the beach. Woo! Straight to the beach. First she used the library where the cool books are always in reach. Woo! Always in reach. She brought a number of friends and they're buzzing because they love to read. Love to read. Go catch the reading bug. At your local library. Catch the reading bug. At your local library. Catch the reading bug. At your local library. It may not require a textbook, but it's filled with valuable lessons. It may not take place in a classroom, but it's an ideal environment for learning. It may not involve a diploma, but it can help prepare Oregon's young people for life. It's high school sports. High school sports can play a critical role in a student's overall education. In fact, studies show that students that participate in high school sports are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in their academic lives. If you think high school sports are only about competition, think again. Better yet, think about attending a high school sporting event in your community. You'll be amazed by what you see. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Oregon School Activities Association and the Oregon Athletic Directors Association. Brent Newton here at Elmira High School. Both teams back on the floor. Warming up here as we get ready for the second half of action. South Umpqua 30 and Elmira 23. The Falcons led it 2 to nothing, And that's it. They have never led again as the Lancers 
Went on a little 8 nothing run. And they've led by as many as 13. Right now, SU with a 7-point lead to start this third quarter. The final to pass along from Sutherland. North Bend 56, Sutherland 45. So the Bulldogs beat the Bulldogs. North Bend 56, Sutherland 45. The Lancers will head to North Bend next Tuesday. We'll have that game for you. South Umpqua opens league play at Friday, uh, Friday at home against Douglas. Then they head to North Bend next Tuesday, and then they head to Florence to take on Sayusla on Friday next uh, week from Friday. Here we go. The second half underway. It'll be Almira with the first little try a little lob down low. Drew that one up in the locker room. It doesn't work, but Elmira keeps possession of it. The ball went right into the hands of Younts. Wilson down low, blocked. You know, Smith tried to get the shot up, and Kelly knocked it away. Nathan Thompson leading the break. Crossover, gets it to Kelly. Wide open underneath, and he lays it in. Nice job by Nathan Thompson leading the break, and Alex Kelly's got four. Kevin Avery, Eric Johnson, Cody Gray, Nathan Thompson, and Alex Kelly for the Lancers. A little bit of foul trouble, though, as Nathan has three, Gray has two. Penetrating Wilson, puts it over Eric, no good. Rebound Gray, two on three, has it knocked away by Wilson from behind, and Meyer's got it. Avery chasing Meyer down now. Meyer goes to the hoop, puts it up, and it reversed with the left hand. Nice move by Griffin Meyer. He's got six. 32-25, back to a seven-point game. Eric off the screen. Top of the key. He's directing traffic now. He'll hand it to Cody Gray. They're giving him the three top of the circle. Won't take it. Bounce past Avery. Down low for Nathan. Pump fake off the window and down. Nice move by Nathan Thompson. Got the defender in the air and then laid it off the glass. 34-25. Lancers by nine. See if they can get a stop. And, boy, a little lucky there. A was looking to... Tried a little bounce pass, get the ball in the in the key, and he just kind of let go of it, but it went right off the foot of Cody Gray. Cody ended up with it, but they call a kick, so it'll stay with Elmira. Falcons lucky to hang on to that one. Top of the key, three from the lefty. That's in and out, no good from Austin Smith. But it's, well, Avery got the rebound on his stomach, and he immediately calls a timeout. That's the second time we see Kevin do that this season. On the ground, just pulls the basketball away and then calls a timeout. The Lancers will take the timeout with 6.20 to go, just underway here in the third quarter. South Umpqua 34 and Elmira 25. Correction on that final, North Bend 58, Sutherland 45. I can't read my text. So North Bend defeating Sutherland. That game was in Sutherland. The North Bend Bulldogs 58, Sutherland 45. So a 13-point win for North Bend. Now I get a text saying 60 to 45. Who knows what the score was? <laughs> All we know is North Bend won. 34-25, Kelly misses the baseline jumper. Wilson into front court, gets it to Cessny. Gray blocks it. And the rebound into the hands of Thompson. Eric into front court. Better be careful. Meyer chasing him down. Left side, Gray fakes the three. Down the lane, puts it over. Meyer missed the shot. Rebound, Kelly the put back. He can't get it. And now a whistle. And that's going to be on South Umpqua. Cody Gray gets whistled for his third. Now Cody walks over to the official and says something to him. So that's three on Cody, three on Nathan. Lancers in a bit of foul trouble. Bob Fies is going to keep both of them in for now. Entry pass for, well, not for long. Here comes Eric Kramer now. Ball goes out of bounds off of SU. So Eric in, Cody Gray out. Entry pass to Meyer. 
Down low for the lefty. He'll put it off the back rim. No good. Smith can't get it to fall. Rebound Nathan Thompson. Eric's got it into front court. Goes between the legs. Down the lane. Jump stop. Fall away. Banks it home. Good job. Is it spun around the rim for a little bit, but it fell through. Johnson now with 20. First bucket here in this third quarter. 36-25. Back to a double-digit lead for SU. Wilson walked again. No call. And now... Kelly, I guess, will get whistled for the reach-in. Pretty quiet crowd here. Lancers took Elmira out of it early. They've led, they trailed 2 nothing did SU, but they haven't trailed since. Off the screen, Meyer lobs down low for Younce. It's knocked away, and Kelly got it. Or, excuse me, Kelly knocked it away. Kramer gets the loose basketball. Eric into front court. Jump stop. Back out to Kevin. Fakes the three. Kevin puts it on the floor. Backs out near that Falcon logo at midcourt. Lobs down low. Wide open is Alex Kelly. And he lays it off the window. And Alex has six. Give Kevin Avery the assist. 38-25. Matches the biggest lead of the night. 13 points. See if the Lancers can get a stop here. Cessny. Far timeline, gets it to Meyer, penetrates off the window, good, and he's fouled. Steve Stebbins, a smile on his face. Looks like Meyer might have got a little running start as well. So substitutions again here as Petter comes back in for the Falcons. Also Brockman back in. Meyer, a good free throw shooter, and I jinxed him. He missed it. First miss today. He's 38-27. Thompson fires a fastball down for Kramer, cut into the hoop. And threw a little bit behind him, and Kramer can't haul it in, and it ends up in the first row of the bleachers. Just down below where I'm standing. Turnover South Umqua. Eric Johnson, Kevin Avery, Alex Kelly, Eric Kramer, and Nathan Thompson for SU. Cody Gray on the bench with three personal fouls. Nathan Thompson in the game with three fouls. Halfway through this third quarter, four minutes and counting. Lancers 38, Elmira 27. Meyer to Wilson, top of the key, three. Back rim, hits the top of the backboard and falls through. 38-30. Avery gets some help from Kelly. Behind a three-point arc, Kramer works it right side for Avery, goes baseline, lays it up, and in. Nice job as, I believe that was Thompson who basically boxed out one of the defenders, and Avery just went right in front of Nathan and laid it in. Turned over by Elmira, but a bad outlet pass, and goes right back to Meyer, so back-to-back turnovers. It'll stay with. Elmira, Wilson puts it up and in, got loose underneath the hoop. And Wilson, after that ugly-looking three, has five straight for Elmira. Johnson pulls up free throw line, just puts it up and missed the shot. Rebound Kramer. Back to Eric, a little floater in the key. It hung on the iron and fell off. And Petter chases it down in the corner. The 40-32. Elmira won't go away. Meyer pulls up from 15. Good. In transition, Griffin Meyer heating up. He's got six in the quarter, ten in the game. Head coach Nick Garman clapping his hands up off the bench. It's a six-point game, 40-34. Nathan left side for Avery. He'll put up the three. That's off the rim. Rebound Kelly. No, but he's fouled. And Alex to the free throw line for SU. Paxton Sisko will check in for South Umpqua. Mick, uh, Mikey Langner and Buddy Finder will come in momentarily for Elmira. So Kelly at the line. Two dribbles. Bends the knees. First attempt is in and out. No good. Alex got the start for Alex Thompson. Who's back in Tri-City. Not feeling well. Hope you feel better soon, Alex. Your teammates need you. We miss you. Second attempt from Kelly is off the rim. He missed them both. And Elmira, a chance to cut it down to four, maybe three here. 
A six-point game, 40-34, 225 and counting. Finder in the corner. He's hit a three from there. That'll be Petter for three. That's off the rim. Good box out by Avery. And he'll take it himself. Kevin, left-handed dribble into front court. Wilson cuts him, cuts him off. Gets it to Kramer. Ball knocked away. Eric gets it back. Gets caught in the air, though, and just has to dish it off. And it's Finder who steals it. Wilson. Petter down the lane. Oh, boy. He had to travel. Good call. I thought they were going to call a foul as he stumbled over one of his teammates' foot and then ran into a Lancer defender, but that was the right call as just took that extra step. Under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Lancers by six. Johnson off the screen. Long three on the way. Good. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Eric Johnson. His fourth from beyond the arc. He's got 23. That's a backbreaker. Lancers back up by nine. 43-34. Brockman. Top of the key. Petter backs it out near midcourt. Right wing now for Langner. Right in front of the Elmira bench. Lobs it down low. Tipped by Thompson. And then Cisco tipped it right back to Nathan. Good job. SU gets the steal. Avery looks over at Bob Fiesel. Who's up off the bench. Back to Eric. Will he take another three? Gets a screen. Dishes off to, for Thompson. Low block. Put it in. Nice move by Nathan Thompson. Got in front of Finder and just put it off the window. 45-34. Just like that. Lancers by 11. It was a six-point game, and Elmira had the ball. But SU's made a bit of a run. Wilson fakes the three, gets by Eric. Strong to the hoop and lays it in. Good job by Nathan Thompson. You just let him go to the hoop and let Wilson get the bucket. Thompson has three fouls. Just let him have it. 45-36. Right side for Cisco. Basketball high above his head. Top of the key, Kramer in the corner for Avery. Dribble drive, cut off. Back to Paxton for three. That's too hard. Backboard, that's it. Bob Fiesel barking. He doesn't like that. Bob now down to one knee. Petter back out to Wilson. Gets by Cisco down the lane. Off the iron, and the putback is good. That's Drew Pender, or Petter, excuse me. Coming the other way, Johnson down the lane with the right hand. A little six-footer, a floater, and he got it to drop. Boy, that's a quick answer by Eric Johnson. Coming the other way, Petter down the lane. Good, and he's fouled. Boy, transition basketball back and forth. So Petter back-to-back hoops. Back to a seven-point game. Bob Fiesel about five feet onto the floor, talking with his point guard, Kevin Avery. 47-40, Petter at the line, trying to make it a three-point play. Free throw on the way, good. Good productivity from Petter off the bench. Coming the other way, Johnson pulls up, free throw line, fires down for Avery, and he got it to go. Nice look by Eric Johnson, and he gets it to Avery, who puts it in with about a second and a half to go, and that's the end of the third quarter. Lancers 49 Elmira 41. The final quarter is coming up next on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com. It's essential for a good point guard to shoot smart, and it's important for every mom to shop smart. Ray Shop Smart Stores provides you with a winning edge on grocery prices every week. Shop Smart Stores are a slam dunk when it comes to where to shop for less with good prices and all the items you need to give your home team the winning edge. Need to win the game? Go to the seven footer. Need to save money on your weekly grocery bill? Hustle on down to your local neighborhood Shop Smart store where you'll always find the winning buys. South Umpqua High School Athletics is brought to you by Dell's Building Supply, the South Umpqua Booster Club, D.R. Johnson Lumber Company, Soco Coffee, Attorney at Law Christopher Peterman, Swanson Group, Fry's Auto Body, Express Employment Professionals, Advanced Eye Care, and the Myrtle Creek Fire Department. You're listening to South Umpqua Athletics on Douglas County Sports Online.com. Cody Gray back into the game with three fouls. He'll be joined by Alex Kelly, Eric Thompson, Kevin Avery, and Paxton Cisco. Nathan Thompson with three. He'll sit on the bench to start this fourth quarter. Eric off the screen. And now a whistle and a way from the ball. Boy, is that a foul? I think they got Alex Kelly for a moving screen. 
Yep, it's on Alex. Team foul number five on the Lancers, just one on Elmira here in the second half, but that could come back to haunt the Falcons late in this game if they need to foul. Avery steps in the passing lane, takes it all the way to the hoop and lays it in with the left hand. Nice defense. Kevin Avery just read that the whole way, poked it away with the right hand, chased it down, and laid it in with the left hand, 51-41. If the Lancers can get a couple of stops and go on a, a run here, get some distance between themselves and the Falcons. Petter penetrates, falls down, and he traveled. That's a good call. He just kept backing in, and then the SU defender just stepped away from him, and Petter hit the floor, and they call the traveling violation. Kevin, left side for Johnson. He's looking to fire. He's going to penetrate, pulls up, triple team, gets it out to Cisco. He'll direct traffic, back it out near that Falcon logo at midcourt. Far timeline in front of the SU bench. That's Cody Gray, double team. Somebody's going to be open. Swing it to Cisco. Down low for Kelly. Low block, backs in, throws it away. But Johnson got it back. Johnson down the lane. Jump stop, puts it up and in. Over the 6-4 finder. Now Johnson and finder starting to push and shove a little bit. 53-41. Johnson getting fired up now. Penetrating. That is Langner. Gets it off for Cessny. Now to Meyer. Boy, Johnson. Oh, Eric getting a little fired up there, and he just kind of stuck out that right thigh. And Meyer hit the floor. That's going to be a foul on Eric. Misplaced aggression on Eric. His finder was the one he was pushing and shoving with just moments ago, and he ends up taking it out on Griffin Meyer as Bob Fiesel... Trying to let cooler heads prevail. He's going to call a quick timeout. We'll take it as well. 6.38 to go. South Umpqua, 53. Elmira, 41. Did you know Dutch Bros Coffee roasts all of their own coffee fresh every day? We have individual relationships with the farmers that harvest our coffee to ensure that there's no compromise in any step of the process. From the farmer to the cup, we guarantee satisfaction. It says so at the bottom of every cup. Drive through one of our convenient locations today and put our world-renowned speed, award-winning service, and unprecedented quality to the test. All of our locations are locally owned and operated to strengthen community involvement. Visit www. Dutchbros.com today. Brett Newton here at Elmira High School. Non-league battle between the Lancers and the Falcons. Right now it's South Umpqua 53, Elmira 41. My business partner, Jason Ng, just texted me. The final apparently is 60 to 45. So North Bend 60, Sutherland 45. That game played in Sutherland. Elmira has it. Meyer down the lane with the right hand. A little floater kind of falling to his left. And he, little one-hander, got it to fall. Griffin Meyer having a big second half. Kelly cutting to the hoop. Boy, Finder just grabbing his jersey. And Kelly got the pass, stayed, got, stayed calm, and just grabbed it with two hands and then went over Finder. And they call it on Finder. Nick Garman, the head coach, hands on his hips, not happy with that call, but maybe it was a makeup call because Finder just had Kelly's the jersey right above the the two on his on his chest. Kelly wears number twenty. Finder just was grabbing it. They didn't call the foul on that, but they called it on the shot attempt. So Kelly at the line where he's missed a couple and the free throw good. Rattled home. So Alex now one for three from the line. Finder picks up his fourth. He'll check out of the game. Back in is Gary Younce, 6'2", senior. Lancers by 11. Kelly bends the knees. Second attempt. Perfect. Big free throws from the junior. 55-43 South Umpqua. Eric Johnson, Kevin Avery, Cody Gray, Alex Kelly, and Paxton Sisko. Left side, that's Austin Smith, the south pod. Gets by Gray, pushing off of that right hand. Good defense from Cody. Back to Younce. Now to Meyer. Backs it out near midcourt. Avery on him. Man-to-man pressure from South Umpqua. Nathan Thompson will check in at the next whistle. Meyer for three. Good. And then he claps for himself, heading back to the defensive end. Meyer, big quarter. He's got 11, excuse me, in the half. Gray cut into the hoop. Will not take the shot. Keeps it. The dribble alive, though. Gets it to Kelly, top of the circle. Foot on the three-point arc. Now Kevin takes it from him. Cisco 
Sesney working on him, gets it to Johnson, fakes the three, pulls up, free throw line over Meyer, off the front rim. Rebound Peter Sesney for Elmira. 55-46, Lancers by nine. Smith all the way to the hoop with the right hand, laid in, and boy, that had to be a travel. Steve Stebbins agrees with me. I don't know how you missed that one, but Smith gets the bucket, 55-48, and a bad pass as Avery and Gray just miscommunicated as Gray went to the hoop and Avery threw it to where Gray was at. Paxton Sisko out of the game. Nathan Thompson checks in. 55-48. Every time it looks like the Lancer is going to make a run, Elmira's got an answer. Taj Wilson back in. He's got the basketball. Cessney left side. Starting five back out there. Johnson stole it. To the hoop, Eric with the right hand slams it home. Boy, Meyer was right on his hip. Uh oh. And now Eric's going to get a taunting technical. That's now Kevin Avery backing Eric all the way to the baseline on the offensive end as Eric stole that. Meyer was right on his hip. And Johnson slammed it down with the right hand. And then I, he did say something, so he gets a technical for the taunting. So to the line is Meyer, and he hits the first. So Griffin Meyer, now five of six from the line. His second free throw attempt, in and out, no good. So he gets one of two, 57-49. Eric's got to be careful. That's his third. He may have to take a seat on the bench just to take a breather. Yeah, Paxton Sisko will check in. Eric's fired up. Got to stay calm, though. They need you, Eric. He's going to take a seat near Steve Stebbins, his assistant coach. In the corner, Cessny for three. Good. Boy, and Nick Garman, the head coach, fires a fist in the air. This thing getting heated up now as Cessny's got eight. It's 57-52, and Smith almost stole it. I heard Elmira was a physical team. I heard that last week and I can see it here they do play a physical game the Lancers getting fired up they got to stay under control here they're only up by five and their star Eric Johnson on the bench Cisco top of the key to Nathan he's not going to take the three he shoots it from there once in a while but not in a situation like this Kevin's got it lobs it to Cisco 425 and counting oh Gray walked with it good call by the official 4.24 4.24 to go. Now Eric will quickly check back in. So Johnson will come in. Cisco will check out. With 4.24 to go here in regulation, Lancers 57. Elmira 52. Wilson, Meyer, Smith, Younce, and Cessney. Cessney got it right in front of the Elmira bench. Smith near midcourt. Work it around the perimeter. Meyer down low for Younce. Backs in on Thompson. Puts it over him. Good. Boy, everything going well for Elmira. They're looking really sharp here in this fourth quarter. Gray, it's a three-point game, folks, a one-possession game. Gray down low for Eric. Fall away baseline from 10. No good. Tipped around. Kelly got it, and he's fouled by Wilson. Looked like Wilson got all basketball, but they call the foul on Taj Wilson. Nick Garman, <laughs> hands outstretched, wearing that purple shirt with the tie, and he's Says he got all ball, but to the line goes Alex Kelly. I think I, Coach Garman is right on that one. Lancers got a little lucky. At the line, Kelly, and he hits it. <laughs> Kelly missed his first two free throw attempts. He's now hit three in a row. 58-54 Lancers, just under four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Kelly, two dribbles, bends the knees, second attempt on the way. Back iron, no good. Thompson, the rebound, puts it up. No, and he's fouled. Nice job by Thompson. He had two defenders around him. Got that pump fake to work. Got one defender in the air. And now, oh, Nick Garman is out on the floor, and he's barking at the official. And the South Umpqua fans, <laughs> they want a technical on the Elmira head coach. We'll keep it here, a 30-second timeout. 3.52 to go in regulation. South Umpqua 58. 
Almira 54. Gotta love high school athletics. <laughs> Not a bad crowd here. Mainly a Falcon crowd. About 40 strong coming over from Douglas County to cheer on the Lancers. 58-54. Lancers have led by as many as 13. Been in a bit of foul trouble, both Cody Gray and Nathan Thompson. Eric now with three as well. So Cody Gray, Alex Kelly, Kevin Avery, Eric Johnson, and Nathan Thompson on the floor for SU. Meyer, Cessney, Younce, Smith, and Wilson for Elmira. Thompson to shoot two. First free throw on the way, and it's no good. Off the front rim. Trying to make it a five-point game. Nathan Thompson. On its way. Good. One of two, and it's 59-54. Man-to-man pressure from the Lancers. Meyer met at midcourt by Avery. Goes right side for Wilson. Basketball above his head. Skip pass over to Cessney. Open. Three on the way. No good. Rebound Thompson for SU. Good look, though, from Cessney. Eric across midcourt. Goes between the legs. Bounce pass left side for Kelly. Gets it to Gray. Back to Eric. Long three on the way. Right side off the rim. Rebound Gray. The put back. No. Cody got his own rebound. Fall away. No good. Back forward. That's it. Avery took it away from Cessney. Uh-oh. And now it's a late whistle. Or are they going to call a timeout? It's going to be a timeout. I think Bob Fiesel must have called the timeout as the official was out near the scores table. And Bob Fiesel, when he saw Kevin take the ball away, he called the timeout. So SU gets the full timeout. We'll take it to 317 to go. Lancer is hanging on to a five-point lead. Kids who play sports are healthier than those who don't. They learn discipline, teamwork, and life habits that promote achievement. Kids in sports form strong social skills, develop confidence, enjoy a high standard of mental health, and often become solid building blocks of the community. As the local teams play out this season, they'll learn about a lot more than competing in games. They'll learn life lessons that can be gained nowhere else. That's why Clint Newell Auto Group supports local youth athletics. to go here in regulation. South Umpqua 59, Elmira 54. Falcons jumped out to a 2-0 lead, and SU has led the rest of the way. Falcons have got as close as three points. Right now it's 59-54. Lancers will have the basketball. Kevin Avery, Eric Johnson, Cody Gray, Nathan Thompson, and Alex Kelly for SU. Johnson will take it out baseline, gets it into, well, tried to get it into Gray in the corner, and Petter knocks it out of bounds. So Petter, Wilson, Meyer, Cessney, and Finder back into the game with four personals. Uh, Avery, right side for Thompson, penetrates, jump stop in the key, gets Finder in the air, and he's fouled. Great job by Thompson. He got Finder in the air, and then he just ducked underneath him, and he tried to just scoop it up with the right hand, and Finder's going to foul out of this game. As that's number five. He's still in there, and now they sound the horn. As Thompson was about to shoot the free throw before the horn sounded, Finder picked up his fifth. Now the official figures it out as Gary Yount will check back in. So Finder fouls out. He had a nice game off the bench. Eight points all coming in that first half. So Thompson at the line to shoot two. First attempt on its way. Perfect. Nathan looking for his 12th point of the night. Second free throw. Got it. Big free throws from the junior. 60 54, 61-54, Johnson stole it, again to the hoop, and he finger roll over the rim, same thing as Meyer was right on his hip, 
And this time Eric just lays it in. 63-54. Big run by the Lancers. Can they get a stop? 245 and counting. Petter swings it right side for Wilson. Now to Meyer. Foot on the three-point arc. Off the screen, Cessny. I'll just work it around the perimeter. Lancers be happy to let him run some time off this clock. Down low for Younce. Backs in on Nathan. Fall away. Air ball. Rebound Gray. Dribbles out of traffic. Nice job by Cody. Gets it to Eric. Jogs into front court. Met by Meyer. Right side for Gray. Baseline Avery to the hoop. Backs it out to Cody. 220 and counting. Gray picks up the dribble. Now hands it to Avery. Almost a steal. Double teamed. Gets it to Kelly. He'll just... Hold the basketball. Now Eric gets it from him. Between the circles, double teamed, and they foul Eric Johnson. Boy, Nick Garman, the head coach for, uh, for Elmire, <laughs> is fired up. You better be careful. 2.06 to go. Cessny checks out. Lagner checks in, lobbing into backcourt. Eric Johnson goes up high to pull it in. Working on Meyer, goes between the leg once, twice, three times. Now backs it out near midcourt, bounce pass to Avery. Under two to go, knocked away Wilson and Avery. Oh, you got to be kidding. It got knocked into backcourt. Avery chased it down, and they called it over in the over and back. He was straddling midcourt, but he can chase it down because it was knocked by Wilson. Bob Fiesel and Steve Stevens barking at the official, but he's not the one who made the call. Doesn't matter. Elmira's going to get it with 150 to go. Meyer for three. No good. Up high is Younce. He'll put it up, and it's going to be a foul before the shot. And it'll be one and one. That's team foul number eight on the Lancers. Six team fouls on Elmira. So we'll be shooting from here on out. So one and one for Gary Younce. First free throw attempt tonight, and it's good. He's an athletic kid. He's, he was dunking in warm-ups. Second attempt from Younce. Perfect. He got them both. Full court pressure. Johnson, he'll do it himself. Gets it across midcourt and he'll set it up. Avery comes out to help. 140 and counting. 63-56. Lancers by 7. SU has the ball. Thompson down a baseline for Avery. Oh, Boy, he got bailed out there. As he threw a pass that was going to get picked off, but Wilson just slapped him on the wrist, and Kevin felt that one. He's still looking at his right wrist, so he'll go to the free throw line. Avery, all six points coming in the second half. One and one for Avery. Free throw on its way. No good. Rebound into the corner, and Thompson got it. SU will keep it and run some time off the clock. Meyer pressuring Ta- Johnson. Oh, boy, here we go again. Looked like Meyer tied him up, but they called the reach in, and then Johnson just swings an elbow at Meyer. Cody Gray and Kevin Avery walk over to talk with Bob Fiesel. So Johnson one and one. Good. Second attempt from the senior. On its way. Rolled around and down. He got them both. 65-56. Meyer to the other end. Behind the back. Down the lane. By Thompson. Just threw it out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say it apparently went off SU. I guess so. Nobody's arguing it. Looks like Meyer just got too far underneath the hoop, but Petter will take it out of bounds for Elmeyer. Baseline gets it top of the circle. Now into the corner for Meyer for three. That's good. Timeout, Elmira. Boy, Griffin Meyer didn't have a bucket in the first half. He had four free throws. He's had a huge second half couple of threes. He's got 15 and a half, 19 in the game, and he's keeping his team in it. 116 to go. 65-59. SU by six. But the Lancers have really been in control most of this game. The Falcons have made a couple of runs. SU's been in a little bit of foul trouble throughout. Cody Gray 
been in foul trouble most of the game. He sat out a lot of that first half. He's got three. Thompson has three. Johnson has three. I think Nathan still has three. 65-59, but the Lancers, they trail 2-0, and that's it. They've led the rest of the way. And Elmira not going away, but SU still looks in control. Haven't panicked yet. Cody Gray, Kevin Avery, Alex Kelly, Nathan Thompson, and Eric Johnson. Full court pressure. They get it into Eric. Double teamed in backcourt, and it's a reach in on Meyer. I think that's a good call because they're getting kind of physical out there I, and for both teams. I think it's probably best to try to calm it down a little bit. They do call it on Meyer. Still one and one, though, for Eric Johnson. Three of three tonight. Free throw on its way, and it's good. Lancers by seven. Cessny will check out. Younce will come back in for Elmira. Eric's, Eric's second attempt. That one's off the front rim. No good. Battle for it underneath. Thompson dies for it. Can't get it. It's Wilson. Five on four the other way. Down the lane, Wilson with the left hand. He goes 80, 94 feet, and Taj Wilson puts it in, and timeout Elmira with 105 to go, 66-61. Full timeout, we'll take it to final 65 seconds when we come back. Dell's Building Supply has been an active member of the Myrtle Creek Tri-City community for more than 50 years. Dells is also proud to sponsor its local students and a variety of school programs, including South Umpqua High School Athletics. Owner Jeff Johnson and his staff wish all answer team success this season. Dells Building Supply, 102 South Old Pacific Highway in Myrtle Creek. Go Lancers! Hey mom, I have something you should meet. Something or someone? Something. It's my perfect food. It's your what? It's my perfect food. Not only does it taste great, it's packed with protein and calcium. It's my perfect healthy snack. Plus, it's made locally with RBST hormone-free milk, fresh from Oregon Dairy Farms. Okay, I'll bite. What's the name of your perfect food? It's my cottage cheese. From Umpqua Dairy, of course. Umpqua Dairy. Mom, daughter, and quality checked approved since 1931. Back a little bit late, my apologies, as Eric Johnson gets the inbounds pass, and he's fouled in backcourt, so back to the line goes Eric. That's team foul number 10, so double bonus means Johnson will get two free throw attempts here. He missed his last. Eric at the line. The first attempt is good. So Eric trying to give his team a seven-point lead. Second free throw, perfect. 68-61, under one minute to go. 59 seconds and counting. Langner into front court, gets by Gray, all the way to the hoop, blocked by Kelly. Gray got the rebound, gets it to Thompson, and he's fouled by Cessny with 52.5 seconds. The Lancers can hit their free throws. They'll be just fine. They lead it 68-61. Gary Younce will check back in. So at the line, Nathan Thompson. Takes a deep breath, fires away. That's going to be short, as you can tell when it left his hand. So Nathan misses the first. He'll get a second, though. Four of six tonight from the line. Nathan trying to make it an eight-point game. Free throw is off the back rim. He missed them both. Rebound, Petter lobs it back for Wilson, still in backcourt. Now he gets it across by Johnson. Jump stop. Boy, that had to be a walk. He lays it in. Not really sure. Just kind of split the defense. Maybe I'm missing something, but Wilson, the beneficiary of a no-call. 68-63. 68-63. Not sure how you can start near the free throw line and then take one dribble and a big jump stop in between two defenders and another step and lay it in. 68-63. Bob Fiesel 
wasn't happy, but I don't know if he was happy with the no call or unhappy with his defense. It doesn't matter. It's going to count 68-63, 40.3 seconds to go. Nathan Thompson missing both of those free throws moments ago, and I have a feeling they're going to try to, Elmira would be happy to get the ball in the hands of Nathan Thompson and foul him again and put the pressure on the junior at the free throw line. Elmira, if they don't get the steal on the inbounds pass, then they will foul immediately. At least that's what they've been doing. Breaking away is Johnson. Gray finds him. Johnson just dribbling around with three white jerseys, and now he ends up on the floor, and he rolls over the top of Meyer. And Eric Johnson back to the free throw line with 33.8 seconds. Eric's first attempt is perfect. Eric, three dribbles, eyes the hoop. It's good. 70 63, 30 seconds and counting. Wilson cut off by Avery. Left side for Younce. He'll pull up from three. It's off the rim. Wilson got the rebound down the lane. He's fouled by either Kelly or Gray. I think it was Kelly. 20.5 seconds remain. Yeah, it's on Alex Kelly. That was the right guy. They were both there, but Kelly's the one who got him with the body. And they're going to say that's number five on Alex Kelly. So Kelly fouls out. I've been concerned about Thompson, Gray, and Johnson, and... This whole time, Alec Kelly's been in foul trouble, too. So he's out of the game. Checking in is Paxton Sisko, and at the line is Tosh Wilson to shoot two, and he misses the front end. Big miss by Elmira. 20.5 seconds remain here. Lancers by seven. Wilson bends the knees. Second attempt is good. He gets one of two. Inbounds to Johnson. He's triple teamed. And he finds Cisco in front court, and he'll just dribble around, and then he gets fouled by Langner, and there's only 10.6 left. So the Lancers up by six. See if Cisco can ice this one. He's going to shoot two. Paxton Cisco tonight has one three pointer in this one. Big smile on his face. Gets the basketball from the official. First free throw. Good. With confidence, Paxton Cisco. 71-64. Cisco ready to go. Two dribbles. Second attempt. Good. Rattled home. He got them both. Big free throws. Inbounds to Langner. 10 seconds. 72-64. Right side for Wilson. Long three over Johnson. Backboard. That's it. Cisco got the rebound and he's tied up by Langner. Possession arrow will stay with Elmira with just two seconds to go. 2.3. So the Lancer is going to get out of here with the win. It wasn't easy. But SU is going to win it. Inbounds to Meyer. They'll let him shoot the three. And Meyer does. No good. And that's it. The final score. South Umpqua 72. And Elmira 64. SU improves to 10-3 and three on the season. Almira drops to 7 and 7. We'll take a timeout and we'll give you the totals when we come back on Douglas County Sports Online. Com. You see their trucks along highway construction sites and rolling to jobs throughout the community. Knife River Materials. The name is synonymous with high quality products and great service. And you can have that solid Knife River experience at your home or office as well. Knife River products and materials are created right here and are rigorously tested before being applied. If you're putting in a pool, sidewalk, or driveway, tell your contractor to use Knife River Materials. Because you deserve the best. Knife River. They've been serving Douglas County for over 50 years. Before your favorite team hits the floor, perhaps you should hit the store. 
your neighborhood raised food place. Ray's is proud to sponsor this broadcast because you support us every day with your business. And just like a coach drawing up a last-second pick and roll, Ray's is always on the lookout for winning deals on the products you use most every day. Let's give a cheer for quality products. Make a fast break to your neighborhood Ray's food place. Because at Ray's, the lane is always open. When I hear the word bistro, I flash back to Europe and immediately smell the alluring aroma of deep, rich coffee, followed by fresh-baked pastries, the hearty soups. But you don't have to have a European flashback for a true bistro experience. Just swing into SoCo Coffee. They have the same handmade croissants, bagels, big, fat cinnamon rolls, and the breakfast sandwiches, the soups, the salads, all homemade and all backed up with organic, fair trade coffees. For the European experience, eat and hang out by the fire. Or if you're in an all-American hurry, just at the drive through at Soco Coffee in Myrtle Creek on Main next to Advanced Eye Care. South Umpqua High School Athletics is brought to you by Bell's Building Supply, the South Umpqua Booster Club, D.R. Johnson Lumber Company, Soco Coffee, Attorney at Law Christopher Peterman, Swanson Group, Fry's Auto Body, Express Employment Professionals, Advanced Eye Care, and the Myrtle Creek Fire Department. You're listening to South Umpqua Athletics on Douglas County Sports Online.com. 72 64, South Umpqua with the eight point win. They led it 16 to 6 after the opening quarter. Elmira outscored SU 17 to 14, and it was the Lancers with a 30 to 23 lead at the break. A 19 to 18 third quarter in favor of SU. They w- went up by 8 49 41. And then each team scores 23 points in that final period. 72-64 South Umpqua. Final scoring, Kevin Avery, a good ball game tonight with six points. Cody Gray with two points. He was in foul trouble most of the game. Alex Kelly fouled out with nine points. Eric Johnson, a season-high 38 points tonight. 18 at half. He had 20 in the second half. Had some clutch free throws in that fourth quarter. 38 tonight for Eric Five for Paxton Cisco and 12 for Nathan Thompson. The Lancers hit five three-pointers, and as a team, they were 17 of 25 from the line, 68%. More importantly, they were 15 of 21 in that fourth quarter, which are actually 15 of 19 in that fourth quarter from the line. 15 of 21, excuse me, in that fourth quarter. So great job by SU in that fourth period from the free-throw line. For... Uh, Elmira, 14 for Taj Wilson, 2 for Austin Smith, 2 for Luke Brockman, 19 for Griffin Meyer, 8 for Peter Cessney, 5 for Drew Petter, 6 for Gary Younce and Buddy Finder, 8 points before fouling out as they shot under 50% from the line and they hit a total of 6 three-pointers as a team. Lancers win at 72-64, 38 points from Eric Johnson, 12 from Nathan Thompson, 9 from Alex Kelly as they improve to 10-3 and three on the year. Third straight win. They will start the Far West League season on Friday at home against the Douglas Trojans. Lancers win it 72-64. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. I'm Brett Newton, and you've been listening to SU Basketball on DouglasCountySportsOnline.com.